Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome back to Simply Niqua. So this week, if you didn't know, who doesn't? But if you didn't know, Valentine's Day is this Friday. Oh yeah. And if you didn't know, I love to do no tutorials inspired by different holidays. So if you put two and two together, I'm going to do a Valentine's Day nail tutorial. So if you are excited about Valentine's Day and want to know how to do this nail tutorial that I'm going to do or you just want to watch because you like the enjoyment of it, well, go ahead, sit back, relax, continue watching. But as you continue watching, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video anytime in between the video that you love this video. And other than that, let's go ahead and get started with this video. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started with this awesome nail tutorial for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to begin with my middle finger and wedding finger and just don't pay attention to the other fingers at this moment. To begin, idea of these two nails, I wanted to have a heart full of glitter. And so I'm going to do the glitter portion first. And so I, I took a makeup sponge wedge and I'm going to apply different glitters on this makeup sponge wedge. So the first glitter that I used was by LA Colors Color Craze and it's called called firecracker and I put it on a makeup sponge wedge so the makeup sponge wedge will really like soak up that uh, clear nail polish and leave you the glitter and so when you put it on the nail it like packs on the glitter really well so I really want this to be like opaqueness of glitter uh, these two nails so I dabbed firecracker onto the middle finger and wedding finger and then just like what I'm going to do with all the rest of the glitters The next glitter that I'm going to use is what, it was a limited edition, a Christmas edition. So if you don't have this one, it's okay, unless you have like a white and red kind of glitter. So I used Pure Ice Peppermint Sticks and it's, it's a lovely white and red glitter. And I did the same makeup sponge wedge, dabbed it onto the nail to get that color payoff, or the glitter color payoff. The next glitter that I used was by Sally Hansen's Insta Dry Collection, and this one's called Candy King Red. So I dabbed it onto the makeup sponge wedge as well, and then dabbed it onto the nail. And each of these um, glitters, I could it depends on what it looks like, so you gotta go off what you feel. But some of the thicker glitters, I did like one like dab session, but some of the little fire glitters, like Firecracker and the Peppermint Sticks, I used uh, two dabs sessions of, of the glitter put on the nail. So the next glitter that I used was by Simple Colors Professional. It's a more thicker like pink glitter and it's called Desonant and I hope I'm saying that right but um, I dabbed that on like the rest and I did about one dab session with this. And I want to concentrate a lot of the glitter um, that make sure it's really nice and opaque in the middle of the nail since that's where the heart's going to be in the middle. So if you don't have a lot around the edges, it's fine. But so don't have to like cover every itty bitty sides of the whole nail because I'm going to apply a color on top. So as uh, long as the middle section of the nail is packed full with this. So be diligent of what kind of glitter that you put on top. The next glitter that I used was by LA Colors Color Craze and it's another one of those and it's called Fantasy and I love this glitter and I did about two dab sessions of this. And of course, I this was a new nail polish I got recently and I just love it and I had to use it. It's kind of like a holographic flaky look. So this one's by LA Colors and it's their Mermaid Magic collection. And this one's called Shimmer Mist. And I put that on a makeup sponge wedge and put it on the nail and make sure really make sure that's kind of like around the middle of the nail um, and tr and since this is more like really you can tell when I do it, it really packs on so be diligent um, when dabbing this on the nail and I definitely just did one uh, for the nail so that's all the glitters and this these nails look so awesome by by itself so I wanted that to kind of to dry a little bit and so I went to my index finger pinky and thumb and 
the reason why I have clear nails because I want this clear see-through but color type of nail so I made my own nail polish which uh, was a clear nail polish bottle and red which I used the LA color color last captive red and then I put some shimmery red in there which I used from Sally Hansen's insta dry and cherry on the top and I put some of that in the bottle as well shake it up and it's like this nice see-through reddish pinkish but I really want it more towards red but it came out a little bit too pink but it's fine but um, it made this translucent um, red pink and it was perfect for these nails so for these particular nails I did about three good coats on top of these three nails the index finger pinky and thumb it has that nice see-through look to it so as that dries I want to go ahead and make the heart shape onto the middle finger and wedding finger and so I use the Broadway nails treasure island and with a liner brush I made a good thick heart in the middle of each of the of the, these two nails <laughs> Once I was happy with the heart, I then filled it in with an, a flat nail brush and filled in around the heart with that Treasure Island pink again from Broadway Nails and I just filled it in and I did two good coats. As I was waiting for those two coats to dry on those two nails, I went hopped back over to the index finger, pinky, and thumb. And I, at the top of the nail, or uh, at the top where the cuticle is at, I did a black heart. So the black that I used is LA Colors Circuits Black, and I made a black heart. Wishing you were here, sweet and more decision I made the black hearts to have glitter so I used simple colors professional starry night and I applied that onto the black hearts I just wanna make you feel like a real man you know it babes and turn to scare those three nails should be done and now I'm gonna hop over to the two middle nails so around the heart I really want these hearts to pop out to you so I decided to go around the heart with a black which I use LA colors color craze circuits and uh, with a liner brush I went around the heart shape with the black to give these nails a little bit of decoration and not to be just a little boring stuff so I'm going to put some polka dots around the heart on the pink surface so I use the LA Colors Color Last Evermore White and with a dotting tool not too big just like a medium sized dotting tool I dabbed some dots around and I like the unevenness of the uh, dots it could be like small dots bigger dots but not too big and uh, I like the unevenness of that so I dotted in some dots on those two nails. Now it's getting cold, I want so after all of that, this nail tutorial should be done. And I then I'm gonna seal my wonderful Valentine's Day nails design in with my favorite top coat, which I used the Pro FX Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat, and I applied a good coat on all of the nails. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked this nail tutorial and thought it was easy or something that you want to recreate. That would be so awesome. And I really hope that you like these Valentine's nails. I, at the end, love these nails and I just love the whole process of doing my nails and making some awesome nail tutorials for you guys to watch. So thank you so much for watching. Next week, I have an awesome book review of a book that is, is awesome. It's, it's, I love it so much and I can't wait to... Uh, uh, talk to you guys about it and show you this video and show you this book it comes out next week as well so be prepared to buy it after you see my video but other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you back next week with that awesome book review video
Bye.